hey guys don't forget to click subscribe all right welcome everybody looks like we got another build uh got the phoenix model sonic it is a low wing uh sport airplane that is designed for either glow 25 to 32 size uh low wing airplane so uh, it's an arf it says it should go together within an hour or two it can't be that much uh so this is going to be the unboxing of this airplane however I cheated, I couldn't help myself, and I already went ahead and uh, put the tail section in the elevator on. So uh, let's take a look. Um, but first, uh, this wingspan of this airplane is 52 inches, and it is 40 inches long. It's a small airplane. Uh, I wanted something like this that could easily be thrown in my truck, go to the field for a couple of flights, and bring it back home with no problems. Four channels set up, and it calls for five servos, two in the aileron, one in the elevator, one in the rudder, one in the throttle. This airplane is going to run you at Tower Hobbies around $78.99. That's exactly how much I paid for this thing. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at it and see what we have. Push this stuff to the side here and we'll take a look. This is the actual fuselage here. This is actually how it comes. Um, and you can kind of see, like I told you, I cheated before. I went and put the uh, tail section on and the, uh, the uh, vertical stabilizer elevators on there already glued all the hinges on and everything but we can take a look and see you know just your uh, CA type hinges there nothing spectacular um you know had to cut this out didn't do such a great job but it doesn't look bad um you know not bad for a 70 something dollar airplane monocoat is that proprietary uh monocoat that phoenix models has uh, they put on their inexpensive airplanes it looks fine it doesn't look any different than anything else um it looks pretty good very shiny um very tight so they did a good job with that um we got your basic stuff like your manual here again this is the sonics uh the phoenix model sonic low wing airplane calls for a 25 to 32 size nitro engine a 46 in this thing will probably make it go crazy and that's what i'm going to put in there and you can see the fuselage there. You can kind of see the uh, business in there. It's already painted too, that's a plus. So you don't have to worry about fuel soaking, getting in there and ruining the firewall. That's a good thing. Let's take a look inside. The cab here, we'll see. That comes off pretty good. Um, you know, just your standard materials. It's very light ply um, and balsa build. Nothing spectacular there, but it looks great. Inside's pretty tight. This is where the fuel tank goes. Um, and uh, everything looks pretty clean obviously laser cut we'll flip it over you can kind of see where the servos go that's a nice clean cut not too much to expect there wings are in the back here looking pretty good and like i said phoenix models i have noticed they believe in some tape and locking their things in that is for sure Okay, we got the wings here. They are looking pretty good. Like I said, the monocoat is actually really nice. It's their sticky back monocoat, um, but it looks really good. The colors are good. You know, already got the uh, the hinges in there. Just got to throw some uh, some CA in there. We're good. Put that to the side. Second wing again. You can kind of see how it looks. It's it's on there really good. The colors are bright and vibrant. The bottom side's pretty interesting. It's green, so that should show up pretty well pretty good and then you've got your basic uh, packet of stuff you've got your wheels I like how everything's already uh, separated you've got your fuel tank accessories already separated your nose cone spinner the little itty bitty mount there I like that um, but like I said screws and bolts and wing nuts they're all separated it's great Phoenix models Seems to know what they're doing. Fuel tank. Pretty small fuel tank there. I'm gonna guess that's maybe 10 ounces. Who knows? And you've got your parts, your screws, and everything that's necessary to put the clevises on. So that's where we're at, you know? It's just an awesome little build. Something easy uh, to build. Um, you know, it even comes with, for you guys that do electric, it even comes with. Uh, the kits for the standoffs for the electrics and everything so you can just buy your motor and your ESC drop it on in 
And by the way, while we're talking about electric, it calls for a 12,000, I'm sorry, 1200 uh, to 800 kV motor. You kind of see that right there. I'm not an electric guy. I kind of nitro and gas, so that's kind of what I, I do. Um, but yeah, little aluminum rod there, and it comes with the push rods and accessories all packaged in and everything. But uh, this is what we're looking at. This is the airplane. So uh, here we go. There's another build that's going to be done. And like I said, I'm going to guess probably 30 minutes to an hour worth of work left. And that's pretty much all she's going to write. I think it's going to be pretty good. But needless to say, that is the Sonic Low Wing MK2 found at Tower Hobbies for about 78 bucks. I think it's a great buy. Um, and it's going to be a good all-around flyer. I'm putting a 46 in it. It's going to scream. I know that. Um, and another thing is that it's just a low, easy flying airplane that's not gonna, you know, break the bank. You can put your standard 46, a 40 in there, a 32, it'll fly off of that. It should scream with that, but 46 is overkill, but you can always throttle back. So stay tuned and we'll see what we got going on. Appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.